Good morning, everybody. I'm in our historic cork oak grove, and I wanted to talk to you about conservation as it relates to something like this big oak tree next to me. This area of the garden goes back to a time when my grandparents were first moving to San Diego after World War II, and many of the trees in this area date back to that period. As you can imagine, we want to have this amazing cork oak experience for visitors even 100 years from now, and no one individual lives forever. So conservation as it relates to our collection of cork oaks means some succession planning. And one of the wonderful things about this species of oak, even though it's not from our area in terms of nativity, is that it comes from a region in Spain and Portugal that is so similar in climate that these actually successfully propagate themselves in our landscape. So one of the things that I wanted to point out to you is that we have this incredible kind of responsibility, but also privilege of planning these collections in a way where even my great grandchildren will be able to come to this space and enjoy the shade and the experience of the incredibly rugose bark of this Quercus Suber next to me. Maybe not this specific one and not this one because I've already yanked it out of the ground, but one like these. And so what I'm getting at is that these plants actually drop acorns of their own accord and the acorns readily germinate for us like this one has in the garden. So what we're working toward is allowing natural seedlings, natural recruits where they occur in a favorable spot, favorable spot to actually grow in and to become essentially the next generation of cork oak canopy in this area. And there's a certain secret to this that I wanted to point out for any of you looking to grow oaks in your own landscape, which is that notice the long taproot on this seedling that I just yanked out of the ground. And the secret to success with something like a cork oak or even a coast live oak, Quercus agrifolia, believe it or not, planting the smallest tree is the best way to have success with something like an oak. And so that gives you some understanding of why rather than collecting these acorns and putting them in containers in our nursery and then transplanting them back into the landscape, we would much prefer to allow the natural root system to develop by an acorn going straight into the soil. So if you are looking to plant something like a Quercus suber or any other of the oaks that grow in our area, best bet if you have the time is to just stick an acorn in the ground and your grandchildren will be able to appreciate something like this.